Hi, I'm Hugh Hoagland from eHazard. We want to talk to you today about seven electrical safety habits. We developed these habits over the years in doing our training and accident investigations in looking at what prevents accidents in the field and what prevents worker injuries and electrical incidents. What we found in doing over 150 accident investigations is that if these seven habits had been followed consistently, these accidents would have led to no injury or dramatically less injuries. So these habits, we believe, will help you out in your electrical work. Let's look at some safety facts. First of all, this study was done by EDF, Electric Department of France. They found in their electric utility that basically out of 120,000 workers, they had about 125 injuries per year. 77% of those were electric arc injuries. 21% of them were permanent disabilities. 2.4% were fatalities. These facts basically show some really important things about arc flash. Number one, many of the incidents that happen that are considered electrical in our statistics actually are arc flashes. When we look at U.S. fatalities with a potential arc component, we're seeing that these fatalities have been dropping since 1994 when OSHA implemented arc flash safety for electric utilities. In looking at how these have been dropping, a couple of things come to mind. Number one, these are just the fatalities that have a potential arc component. In the previous statistics, that was only 2.4% of those fatalities have an arc component. So what we're seeing is that the other incidents of about 8,000 people who've been burned in arcs are also going down. Those aren't as easily tracked as the fatalities. When we look at this NIOS study from 1998, we look at electrocutions by age. There are three different groups that I kind of divide these up into. We have the beginners, we have the survivors, and we have the cowboys. Now, the beginners are not doing much electrical work, or if they are, they're being watched by someone who's a foreman or a lead technician for who's perhaps a cowboy. The survivors are often back in the back office. They're not doing the work either. It's the cowboys right in the center. The folks who've gotten to the point where they think they know exactly what to do, but they're willing to cut some of the corners sometimes. I want to encourage you with the seven habits to get into these habits early from the beginner stage and carry it all throughout your career that you follow the seven habits every time you do your electrical safe work because the most important thing is that you come home safely. Whether you're a beginner, a cowboy, or one of the folks in my age group, the survivors. When we talk about electrical safety and we're talking about the safety pyramid, it's important for us to realize the difference between normal safety habits and electrical safety habits. Normal safety habits have a, an incident rate of basically 300 recordable injuries lead to one fatality. In electrical safety, it's a little different. There, 10 recordables lead to one fatality. So what it means is that these seven electrical safety habits are much more important than just the basic safety habits. When something happens wrong in electricity, it can mean your life much quicker than some normal safety habit. Let's take hard hats, for example. If I don't wear a hard hat out in the workplace, that may or may not kill me. But if I'm getting ready to touch live 480 parts and I don't have on my rubber gloves with the leather protectors, it will kill me. So when we talk about electrical safety habits, we're talking about things that are critical to your life safety. We're talking about several things that you need to develop in your electrical safety program that are part of the seven habits or things that kind of come behind the seven habits. 